Okay, I'm uh, here fixing the uh, the car. I received the grill, uh, which is a little different than the old grill. Uh, I pick intentionally this new uh, style. I think I like it better, and it's going to be easier to cover it because it's, it's the the uh, the grill is actually flat versus the uh, this has a lot of bumps, so this is going to be easier to cover. And uh, I have the bumper and everything installed. Uh, the AC compressor is working. The bumper, the uh, new bumper is here. The new support for the bumper. Flash uh, headlamps are installed. The new, um, the new condenser. Uh, while this was out, I sealed properly everything here, which was not exactly perfect before. Now is is great. The new uh, condenser is there in place, it works great. I added a second fan uh, to give it better cooling. Uh, so now I have two fans and it works great by the way. Uh, gas is refilled into the system so I have a air conditioner again. Um, the whole system, everything seems to be okay and in working order. These are the new supports, the new support is just great, no problems there. Um, the new supports are here. Uh, the new radiators are yeah. Uh, the new fans for the radiator are here and they're working great. Um, I replaced also this plastic. This is new. Um, I just need to work now on the bumper. Oh, also something I something I removed is uh, what is it? This. This was behind the uh, condenser and this was cooling the power steering fluid but since my power steering is not always on, just on demand, this was not really necessary so I just connected the uh, hose in a U and I don't need cooling for the uh, power steering anymore so that's another improvement I did, I installed my new horn uh, so it's time to start working on the front bumper. Once the front bumper is uh, ready, uh, that, that's it. I'll be able to drive the car again. I'm working on the uh, fog lamps, uh, and I need to paint the uh, the new bumper. This here, this is primed, so I just need to get it painting into this. I need to install the air deflector under, and I need to block the uh, the. Uh, the air intake for the grill, since it's too much, is too big for an electric car, so it has to look more or less like this. So I have to solve this part, uh, and that's what I'm going to be working uh, next. I expect to be able to put it to work in one or two more days of work. Here is the compressor working. Uh, I realized that once I replace the oil, it's more quiet than before, it's quieter. Um, these are the two fans working, which are not terribly noisy, but a little bit. You can hear them from inside the car, so it's, it's good. Uh, so that's how they're working. Uh, this doesn't hit as much as it just do, and it pulls really nice. So that's, that's working. Well, I've been working today in painting the uh, front bumper and it looks ready now. I'm just going to wait a few, a uh, couple hours until it dries off completely to start installing it. Uh, I think I did a good job. It looks it looks good. So I need to put the grill, but uh, I should be ready to install it in a couple hours. A couple of hours. Well, I'm done and it looks great. I think it looks even better than before the accident and I know I improved several things. So uh, I should be able to start driving it tomorrow. It looks great. I even built a little cover for the center grill that I'm going to uh, plan to put when uh, there's uh, no need for the air conditioning to make it more uh, aerodynamic. Uh, but it looks great. I couldn't even tell it wasn't an accident. So I should be able to start driving it tomorrow again. Como quedó, 
y como se ve afuera en el sol uh, bueno pues ahora vamos a otra cosa vamos a instalar la dirección eléctrica hidráulica uh, en dirección hidra uh, asistida eléctrica